Hi, welcome to another video from D8 Squared. My name is Dan, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a digital calendar display for your home. I use mine in the kitchen because that's an area that we uh, walk through a lot, so it seems to make the most sense for us. But it really could be used anywhere that you could put a, a digital display. And again, I'd like to remind you, uh, if you like this video or if you find any of this useful, please go ahead and like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. The things that you'll need for this project are an old display, whether it be an old TV or monitor, as long as it has HDMI. You'll need an old Fire Stick or Fire TV. You'll need a software called ADB Link for your computer, which is free. You'll need to download the Opera APK file to your computer, which is free. You'll need a app called Mouse Toggle, which you can download on the Fire TV for free. And you'll need to create a DAC board account, which is a website, uh, which is also free. I was fortunate enough to have an old TV laying around and an old Fire Stick laying around. So I didn't have to buy any of these uh, products. So it was entirely free for me. And uh, hopefully you'll have some of these things laying around too. The first thing that you're going to need to do is change a setting on the Fire TV and then take note of a few items. Then you're going to have to scroll over to the settings tab and then scroll over to the My Fire TV selection. Cho choose that. Go down to developer options. In there, turn on ADB debugging and turn on apps from unknown sources. After that, Go to the About menu and go uh, look at what your Fire OS uh, version is. Take note of that. Then go down to Network and take note of your IP address. The next thing you'll have to do is go to the App Store on your Fire TV and download an app called Mouse Toggle for Fire TV and enable it. The next thing that you're going to have to do is download the Opera Internet Browser APK file to your computer. To know which version of the APK file you need to download is determined by which version of Fire OS your Fire TV is running. So use this to correlate and figure out which version of the Android OS APK file that you'll need. Once you have that figured out, just go to Google and search for Opera, Android OS, whatever yours is, and There'll be uh, various websites where you can download that APK file. The next step will be to run ADB Link. You use ADB Link to connect to your Fire TV. Once you're connected to your Fire TV, you'll be able to install the Opera APK file to the Fire TV. So what you'll do is you'll enter your uh, web address that you had noted earlier that you got from your Fire TV. You'll enter it here. You'll click Connect. Then you can click on Install APK. You'll install your Opera APK file, and then Opera will be installed on the Fire TV. The next step will be using ADB Link to ensure that your Fire TV never goes to sleep and that the screensaver never turns on. If your Fire TV is allowed to go to sleep, when it wakes back up, your browser will no longer be running on there. Therefore, your calendar will no longer be displayed. So to do this, click on the connected devices. Then click on Utility, Set Timers. Then select Sleep Off and Screensaver Off and click OK. Once that is done, your Fire TV screensaver and will, will never turn on and it will never go to sleep. Now you're ready to set up your actual calendar on DACboard.com. So you're going to want to set up an account at DACboard.com and uh, they do have a free uh, account, which is limited. There's limits. You'll have to read up on see what the different uh, limitations are. Uh, 
free is suitable for me. It works, it works well in our household. Uh, you may find that you want to upgrade to get more features, which is fine, which would be great. But uh, for now, we're, we're just still using the free account. And you'll go into your predefined screen. And this is where you can set up your screen layout, how, you know, what you want the screen to look like, your background photo, if you want to have your own photos, if you want to pull a photo from the internet which you have a lot of different choices here. Uh, this is where you can set up your calendar views and how you link your, uh, your different calendars to it. I use iCal, uh, but depending on what you use, you can connect your calendar here. This is where you can set up your date time format. You can set up your weather location and uh, how you want the weather to look. You can have it show you news uh, feeds if you want to do feeds. Uh, you can set up a custom message. Uh, there's a number of different things you can do here. Just walk through the process on this website and it will uh, it will show you how to link up to a browser, uh, which is what you're going to do back on your Fire TV using Opera. You'll link this calendar or this setup, the screen setup to uh, a browser. So uh, that's pretty much pretty much all there is to it. So once you get this all configured and get it linked up to your browser, you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to see what you've configured on your Fire TV. So there is one more thing that you can do with your system to help save a little bit of energy because you don't want your TV to be on 24/7. So you can. Uh, you can just use one of these uh, smart plugs. I use a TP-Link Casa smart plug that you can set up on a schedule and you can have it come on and off at different times of the day based on the times of day that you're gonna be in that area. Uh, you can even take it another step further. And I have a smart things hub, a Samsung smart things hub and um, a video camera inside the house that is in an area nearby the TV. I have the Smart Things Hub set up so that anytime that camera senses motion, it turns on this plug, which turns on the TV showing the calendar. And then it's I have it on for like 10 or 15 minutes. And if there's no more motion in that area, it just turns back off. So that's one step further. You can go with this whole process if you if you feel you, you need to or, or want to. So this is the way my Fire TV display looks. Um, I like to change the background based on uh, upcoming holidays or whatever season we're in. Uh, you can change the layout to be different if you'd like. Um, one of the reasons I used the Opera internet browser was because it stays in full screen mode, whereas the other browser didn't seem to stay in full screen mode all the time. And that's where you use the mouse toggle application that you downloaded so that you can toggle into that mouse mode so you can navigate around on this screen. Well, I hope this, um, this video helped you uh, learn how to create a display like this for your own home. I do appreciate you watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and leave a comment below. Thank you.